Hello friends, this is Durga from IIT Varsity. As part of this, vid uh, this video in the process of learning Spark, I will try to cover uh, um, how Spark, uh, uh, I will try to review Spark on uh, uh, virtual machine image uh, from Hortonworks. The same thing is applicable to any other uh, uh, virtual machine image. And by now you should have either Hortonworks Sandbox or Cloudera Quick Start VM or access to some uh, Hadoop cluster. Um, and uh, as part of this video, I will try to show you how you can act actually review whether you have Spark configured properly or not. And also I will give you some uh, details about how to read the uh, documentation. Okay. So first let us uh, log into my environment which is uh, using Hortonworks Sandbox and then we, we will see the rest of the details. So my Hortonworks Sandbox on VMware is running on this IP. So I am connecting. To that using uh, SSH root at 192, 168, 145 to 49. Here I am using my Mac and Mac have uh, something called terminal and I can actually uh, use the terminal to run SSH. If you are using Windows, either you have to use PuTTY or you have to use SIGWIN with SSH package. Uh, to uh, to log in uh, uh, similar uh, to log in using similar interface so windows have a, a software called sigwin where you can simulate uh, the terminal in windows you can use it with ssh packages and uh, then you will be able to log in otherwise you have to use putty or some other ssh based tool uh, to connect to to uh, to the virtual machine uh, from the terminal or you can also actually connect from the console here on Mac, they are saying to hit Control Alt F5. So Control Fn Option F5. Not this one actually. Let me yeah here. F Fn Control Option F5. Okay, and uh, username is root. Um, password I have already changed it's not a Hadoop on my machine but by default it shows password as Hadoop but you should reset so I have reset already so you can actually log in directly from here but uh, uh, if you start using this interface it will be less user friendly that's why I will be using terminal so here also I'm logging in with as root user and now I am in the sandbox so uh, spark have uh, spark can work with multiple programming languages it can work with Python or it can work with Scala. So to launch um, Spark in Scala context, you have to run Spark shell and hit enter. It will launch Spark in uh, uh, Scala context. So if all the services of uh, uh, Hortonworks Sandbox are up and running, it will log into Spark without any issues. If there are any issues, it will fail. In that case, what you have to do is, you have to use the same IP address, go to the browser and type 192, 168-145-249, 192-168-145. 249 and port number is 8080 it will take us to ambari interface here you have to uh, have the username and password um, when you actually set up hotnworks sandbox um, you will see how to set this admin password i have covered uh, uh, as part of the earlier videos and you should be able to know the admin password once you enter the username and password you can see what all services are available and uh, here to successfully run Spark, you have to have HDFS up and running. You can click on HDFS and see if it is uh, running. Name node is up and running. Data nodes are up and running. So we are good to go. Similarly, MapReduce and Yarn. Uh, MapReduce is not that important for Spark. Yarn might have to be up and running in some cases. Spark has to be up and running. So as long as it is up and running, you will be able to uh, log in, uh, launch spark uh, either using scala context or python context though so to launch in uh, scala context you just have to say 
uh, spark shell okay and by default it connect uh, i think it connects using yarn i will try to cover uh, uh, multiple execution frameworks uh, on which spark can run as part of the last uh, uh, next video uh, for now you just understand that you can launch spark in uh, in scala context using spark hyphen shell this course is primarily for uh, scala uh, so this is uh, enough but i will just explain and the other context also in a moment so when you actually launch it automatically creates few of the scala objects like sql context is one and then there is another one called sc sc is is, uh, is object of type spark context so we'll see what are those things as part of the next videos but just understand that there will be implicit objects that will be created which we will be using as part of uh, our programs later that being said spark shell is the command to launch okay and uh, you can exit from here by saying exit and if you want to launch in python context you just have to say pyspark and it will launch in the python context so spark you can build application either in scala or python or even in java for java there is no command line interface where you can interact with for scala and python there are and to launch uh, scala uh, to launch spark in scala context you have to run spark hyphen shell command and we will see how we can use it to develop the applications as part of the um, uh, as part of later videos and then to get the documentation um and also to to launch it in yeah and also to get the documentation you just go here and first understand what is the version and the underlying uh, uh, virtual machine is working uh, using so in this case it is using uh, 1.6 version spark 1.6 so here we have to go to google and search for spark 1.6.0 programming guide and then it will give you the documentation uh, for spark 1.6.0 and here you can see uh, several things but uh, out of all these things you don't need to worry about um, how to set up and all those things this is already taken care as part of uh, uh, the virtual machine image which we have used to set up um, uh, so this is how um, and also this actually provide inst instructions about how to run uh, an example application uh, a, a, how to launch spark shell py spark etc which is already covered if you scroll down a little bit further here comes spark programming guide this is the most important document which you need to refer to while uh, developing applications using scala uh, using spark either in scala or uh, Py python as programming languages okay and also if you give any of the certifications especially subject to certification such as cloudera certification or hotworks certification they will give access to this programming guide so you should be able to um, easily search for for the relevant uh, topics um, as uh, as part of that certification so it's very important to understand that you have to go to the spark programming guide Uh, for syntax and semantics to build applications irrespective of the programming language you use so now if you scroll down uh, if you go to each of the section you have seen scala java python by default the documentation is uh, uh, showing you scala based code snippets if you want to see python based you just use python and everywhere it will change to python not for that section but the entire the page will refresh with the python content if you click on scala it will be scala if you click on python it, it will be python code for us as part of this course it's primarily scala so we will see um, how to use this as part of our future uh, tasks uh, that being said as part of this video we have covered uh, how to start with the spark using scala as programming language we have seen uh, how we can actually launch scala um, uh, in virtual machine uh, it is applicable to any of the virtual machines that are available whether it is uh, uh, cloudera quick start vm or hotmox sandbox i have demonstrated using hotmox sandbox but it is same everywhere and also even if you have access to a cluster as part of your uh, office environment 
you are welcome to use that um, but for us uh, for uh, for those who don't have access to the cluster hortonworks sandbox or cloudera is the way to go to quickly learn uh, the technology without struggling with setting up the environment that being said uh, i hope you uh, you will enjoy the course please provide the feedback um, so that i can improvise on co uh, on the course content going forward thank you bye